welcome to Tech Tip Tuesday. In this week's <sighs> edition, we are going to be talking about adding a lock or a password. password to a Google form or a Google quiz. You know, you need it. It's really helpful. Yes. Yeah. And don't mind us. We don't have our Christmas decorations up there over there. So we're just going to decorate with Christmas Park. It was delicious unless you eat a whole stick. All of it. Yeah. It was good though. It was. Okay. Back to business. Anyway. All right. So what do we need to do? Step one, we need to have a Google form. So in Google Drive, I will click new. No. More. More. Google Forms. Forms. New tab opens up. Oh, look, we got, we came back so quick this that time. That was. Oh, we're so good. Okay. Internet must be working. Mm, thank you, technology department. Check Yay. it. Okay, top left corner where it says untitled form. This Give it is, a title. Yeah, we need to title it. Right, okay, so this is practice password form. Check. Okay. Click off. It names it. So when we're starting a form or a quiz, first thing that we're going to add is a question called password. Hold on. What? We got to tell them why. Well, oh, why? Why do you want to do this? Okay. So the reason that you want to do this is because one, you probably have a bunch of different classes and you want to assign all the same quiz, but you want to do it at different times of the day and you don't want your first hour taking your fifth hour and your fifth hour taking your first hour. So you put a password on it and then you change that and then, or you make a copy. Yeah. And make then copies. different passwords copy different passwords and then they can take the test when they're supposed to and not when first hour takes it and they get all the answers. Right. That's one reason. Right. Lots of reasons. Also, um, one teacher said she doesn't want a student at home to be able to take the quiz while he's at home. So she put a password on it. Now, mind yes. you, if the kid, somebody in the class texted the kid at home the password, then she, she would know that. And yeah. then the test would kind of be invalid. But, yeah. you know, and if she's proactive and she's planning ahead and she wants to make this a quiz on Monday or Tuesday and it's only Saturday because she does work on Saturday, look at that teacher go, then she can schedule it for Monday, put a password on it, then you can't get into it until Monday. Exactly. When you give the password. So, all right. Okay. Back now, keep going. So I'm going to type password as the question. Google is smart. They change it to a short answer. But how do we make this a password? A, make it required. Two, just joking, B, three polka dots next to required. We're going to turn on response, response validation. validation. Okay, you can have a number password or you can have a text password. If you pick number you don't want greater than, clearly, click the drop down, pick equal to, pick a number. One five seven four nine three six seven four. Right? Just joking. I mean, a little hard. Make it whatever you would like it. One two four seven three. Great. This will always show for you, so you can change it, edit it, copy it, whatever you need to do. Here's the trick: in the custom error text box, you have to put an error message. Otherwise, the students could type anything in that first box when they get to the question, and it reveals the answer. Don't know why. Yeah. I know. So just put, you no. shall not pass. Right? Right. So that's step one. Step two, we're going to add a section break to this form. If you're looking at your tools on the right side, I'm, I'm pointing mm -hmm. like this. Point again. Yeah, sorry. On the right see. side, you click add section. Now notice there's like a page break. And then section two, you're actually going to put the quiz. Quiz. So now I can add a question. So my first question is, what is for lunch? If I could spell today, tacos, pizza, salad. Clearly that's not the answer. Right? Okay. From this point on, you could go and set up the quiz like you normally would through the settings. Make sure you pick all the options that you need. But the wonderful part about this is because password is required when they go to the live form, they can't take the test. If they put in the wrong password and they press next, I'm going to tell them you shall not pass. <laughs> and they so. cannot get to the test questions until they put in the correct password. That you give them when you're ready. That's it. That's huh? it. We did good. Super simple, super easy, but can save you a lot of time, a lot of effort, some cheating along the way. And that is our tech tip. Tuesday. You can do it. Put, Put your, your tech, tech into, into it. it. And cut. Oh, 
that was bad. 